Oh, what a collaboration. Yeah, Sanders. I love mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, number nine, sometimes the most unexpected things seem to take off and become popular, like the Trader Joe's mini tote bag. We've told you about this. It's oh, just yeah. a small canvas bag, $2.99. It's nice, but it doesn't seem to be anything special. You know, they come in all different colors. But, of course, people started posting about them. Before you knew it, they sold out somewhere, selling for ridiculous amounts of money on eBay. Trader Joe says the bags sold a lot more quickly than they anticipated before they had even come up with a campaign to promote them. And now they're telling people they'll be able to restock, but not until late summer. Mm. So, you know, because kids yeah. use them as a purse. They love a tote bag now. The canvas totes are big. Yeah. You know, and when you get that perfect size one, I guess, Paul, you know. Yeah, I do. You can fit oh, all yeah. your makeup and everything in yeah. there. and the Perfect, yes. Yeah. Is it, is it just that they're in high demand and, and that's why... I, someone must have posted them? about it on TikTok and so everyone wants to hit. It's like those Stanley cups, you right. know. They're just a... You know, a yeah. fad. A fad. Okay. You want one? No. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I like that you can, you know, use them instead of the plastic bags. Sure, and, sure yeah. But, but then uh, you well, girls use them as, like, purses yeah, and carry Yes. I get it. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. A, okay, well, you have one? Uh, of course I do. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> oh, well, okay, sorry. <laughs> like, our like our like oh, you should see? sell them on eBay yeah, right here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she's oh see, different she has bags. different yeah, I got the WTGW tote bag. It's a lot cooler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those yeah. are really cool. Right. Oh, PBS, yeah. Right. All right. All right. Well, All right. Your turn, Polly. That story was barely interesting to begin with, right? but we really stretch it out nicely. Yeah, that's what we do. All yeah. right, we've got a great video that shows just how much monkeys love to ride on dogs. Look at this. Oh, no. This... The heck? This is the beauty of how if animals can get along this nicely. Yeah. Why is the monkey wearing well, pants? Do well, they wear pants not? in the wild? It's a sign of respect. Yeah. Something we could all take a lesson. Look at this, from. and the dog's like, no, thank you. Yeah, he's well, he's pulling him by the tail. Yeah. But this is beautiful, right? Yeah. Yeah, the dog should be wearing pants. Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> well, the monkey's riding the dog. Yeah. You know, you want your. You know, your privates to be <laughs> not spread all over the dog's back. Oh, right? so it's a boy. Sign of respect and was raised well, right? Yeah. Sheesh. Right. God bless. <laughs> Number seven, this is High Street in Melbourne, Australia. It was just named World's Coolest Street from Time Out. And here's what makes it so cool it has a great mixture of food options, bars, strong sense of community. Makes everyone feel welcome. In short, it's a street where uh, people want to spend their time. Wow. Uh, other streets this year include uh, 18th Street here in Pilsen. That's a beautiful street. If you've ever uh, walked up and down there, gorgeous street. Um, also, Miami's Miracle Mile and Camden Street in Dublin. Oh, yeah. You always wonder if it's just one person's opinion who's sitting yeah, at a computer uh, going, I've been here, yeah, that'll be yeah, number yeah, one. I you I never know. Yeah, All right, yeah. number six. Here's something cool coming to Wrigley Field in May. Not Cubs baseball. This is... Upper Deck Golfing, check this Ooh. out. A company partnered with iconic sports stadiums across the country, and they set up a tee, like at a driving range, on the upper deck of the stadium. So you can hit your ball down onto the field at certain targets with different games and challenges nice. mixed in. You can also eat and drink while you do it, which adds a little extra yeah. <laughs> difficulty yeah. to yeah. it. This is going to be happening at Wrigley Field the weekend of May 10th through the 12th when the Cubs are playing in Pittsburgh. You can go to Upper Deck Golfing for prices and details. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Number five, people are searching for all sorts of ways to relax these days. Here is a new option, a CBD sound bath. Ooh. It involves a massage infused with CBD oil to start. All right. The oil is designed to alleviate inflam- inflammation. All right. Reduce pain, help the skin. It's often infused with things like ginger or black pepper. And while someone is kneading away your tired muscles, someone else is conducting a sound bath. What's a sound bath? Well, a sound bath is meant to provide a sense of relaxation, improve the mood, and release tension through sound. So but not everyone finds it uh, comfortable. In fact, some clients claim the sounds are anything but calming. Yeah. It would seem like sound is very subjective, right? Like someone... Well, you hate all music. Uh, yeah, so you, yeah, don't put music on right. there, but maybe you got someone tap dancing in the corner. You love that. Or, yeah. yeah. 
Or someone breaking glasses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sound is sound, right? Yeah, you're right. Someone chewing, just chewing <laughs> yeah. in your ear. It doesn't have to be music. <laughs> Could you imagine? For smacking in your ear, that'd how's be really calming. How's your massage, Mr. Right. Yeah, Conrad. someone's talking. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> a sound bath. That sounds dumb. All righty. Uh, all right, number four. Uh, if you watch the Oscars, you might have noticed the old brooch trend. Even the men were all over it. The Irish guy, Killian Murphy, he had a bejeweled lapel. Oh, Michael I B. Didn't Jordan that. showed off a few Tiffany brooches. John oh. Kazarinski rocked a dazzling little brooch with his white tuxedo. Yeah. Billy Eilish's brother, Phineas, always a fashion forward. Uh, wore another cool brooch on the red carpet. So yeah. how do the regular guys do it? They don't. <laughs> but if you're going to jump into that end of the pool, you uh, want to go simple at first. Try pinning a fun little silver piece for your jacket or try out the uh, next uh, wedding you're at and just put on a little brooch. Ask your mom or your granny if she's got one laying around that you could try right. out. Uh, and more about uh, the man who is, uh, it tells you more about who you are and the inspiration that you bring to other people. So typically I think you want to contact Granny yeah. and say, hey, Granny, do you got a brooch? Yeah. And then if you've got the courage to have that conversation with her, uh, then you probably can wear it. And if she's no longer with you, you can wear it in her honor. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if anyone criticizes you, say, hey, look, I'm remembering yeah. my grandmother. Oh, look, you, you guys are in off. suit coats there. Why don't you brooch it yeah. up out here? Just a little lapel it's brooch. Is it idea. distracting? It's I'm might not be an distracting. Lady. I've got enough problems with the mustache going on here. You throw a brooch on top of this. I'm it's too be, much beauty. I'll be escorted to the insane asylum. My wife is already, I can tell she's searching, you know, for, for a psychiatrist yeah. and how to commit someone. Yeah. You know, it's an insane but now asylum. Why is it? Because the mustache? Well, she she's does. coming true. Now that she's learned the English language. <laughs> The wheels are yeah. off. Now, for I notice us. you're letting the beard grow in. Yeah. I don't Is know, it I'm just because you can't? I guess I'm too tired to <laughs> shave. I applaud you for mixing it up, really. Yeah, yeah someone's got to do something interesting yeah. around here. But to be fair, I should have been shaving my legs also, just right, between right, right. you yeah. and me. To I'm be jealous. fair, it's not it a fashion up. choice. It's just laziness. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. it but it, that's, it really is lazy, that's fair. Uh, well, well speaking of uh, laziness here, number three, we know uh, horses can be lazy, Paul. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. In this clip from 1997, we see one horse who is uh, taking some initiative. This happened during a bike race in France. Il y a même des chevaux ici dans le town. Regardez. I don't know. Is this, is this AI or this CG? Is, finally, you'd watch a bike race. This is real. We're We're told this is real. In there. Imagine this. Put this in the middle of like the Chicago Marathon, right? right? <laughs> You let some of the animals out of the Brookfield Zoo and the Lincoln Park Zoo. People start watching, paying attention. Yeah. Uh, this is from 1997 in Israel. Uh, this was not the Tour de France. This is a different race. It's uh, a good one. But 97. Bring some thing. animals. Let's look at the horses. They're not doing anything anyhow. All of them standing around. You say, we can bring them out to a Bears game, right? Yeah. <laughs> say, listen, you guys stay on this half of the field, but you're just be ready to go. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if the horse is setting the pace or slowing down the bike yeah, riders exactly. there. Eh. That is awesome. That's that awesome. Cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that. All right, number two, coming up uh, later this hour, uh, we're talking to the author of a new book about the Blues Brothers. You got us into this parking lot, pal. Now you get us out. You want out of this parking lot? Okay. Would there be anything else? Yes, do you have a Miss Piggy? This was one of the movie's most iconic scenes. It was filmed at the Dixie Square Mall in South Suburban Harvey. The mall was only 13 years old at the time, but a spike in crime forced it to close before uh, director John Landis uh, dressed it all up only to destroy it. The former site is believed to be owned by the city of Harvey, but they have yet to sell it to developers. Oh. All right, number one, Thursday was March 14th. That's 314 or Pie Day. Mm -hmm. So how about we show you the scene from the largest pie fight ever filmed? Sure. The movie is The Great Race from 1965, starred Tony Curtis, Natalie Wood, Jack Lemmon. Here it is. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, look, that's a lot of pies. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bois. Uh oh. Mr. Bois. Please! Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, just all these pies just sit around under a fridge. Yeah. Right? That can't be safe. It's getting interesting, though. Your Majesty, pie there. <laughs> yeah. Well. You got a pretty good aim, right? Yeah. Brandy. <laughs> Throw more brandy. Throw brandy. Well, there we go. Biggest pie. 256 brandy. pies were used. That scene alone cost $200,000 to shoot. Wow. 18,000 of the money was spent on pies. Well, it seems $18, like... $18,000 for 200 pies? That can't be right. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, couldn't you just use the old shaving cream pie? Like right. they did it. I mean, it seems like you really blew the budget. Well, maybe. Oh, you know what? Details. Yeah, we're, we're not, not good, at, good those. at those. But you get the idea. Hmm. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Fire. <laughs> <laughs>